Welcome, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and, and this, this is Desmond's Donders. We're at Pendlatter Castle. It's late on in the day. Because it's been raining all day, we haven't been out. At least not to film. There's the Ducat. And the castle, of course, is down the dip. We'll be down there tomorrow, hopefully, to grab some pictures. Fields ploughed for the winter. And me not watching what I'm doing means you've had all sorts <laughs> ups and downs. And it's coming to that time and the sun is dipping. And I may or may not get some sunset pictures. The skies are clear now, a little bit of cloud, so it may be possible. Ducat. This was a source of meat and eggs for the people that lived in the castle. Pigeon pie, and I don't know what they do with the omelets. I think I just said it, didn't I? I think what they would do with the eggs would be omelets probably a bit small for anything else. The Ducat at Findlater dates from the 16th century and is a Category A listed building. It is of rubble construction and lime washed. The protruding stone bands at intervals are to discourage rats from getting inside. This ducat is associated with the castle about half a mile away. It is a beehive ducat, the oldest type, and contains some 700 nesting boxes, each measuring about 15 centimetres by 15 centimetres by 36 centimetres. The boxes start about 45 centimetres off the floor and taper up to the top where there was an opening through which the birds could come and go. A ladder on a pivoting stone in the centre of the ducat gave access to the nest boxes.
The ruins of Finlater Castle stand on a rocky promontory projecting out into the sea some two miles east of Colon and a mile west of Sandend. The first historical reference to the castle is from 1246. King Alexander III of Scotland repaired this castle in the 1260s and in preparation for an invasion by the king, Haskon IV of Norway. The Norwegians took and held the castle for some time. The castle remains that are still there are from the 14th century rebuilding. When the castle was redesigned and based on the Roslyn Castle model. James V of Scotland visited Findlater in November 1535 after a pilgrimage to Tain. The Laird of Findlater and Ogilvy was master of household to Mary of Guise. He lost his inheritance following sexual misconduct with his mother-in-law and making a plan to imprison his father in a cellar to deprive him of sleep and drive him insane and so obtain his lands. After his father's death, his mother married John Gordon, a son of the Earl of Huntley, who then took possession of the castle and lands and promptly imprisoned her. John Gordon, now of Finlatter, fought with Lord Ogilvy in July 1562 and injured his arm. Gordon was imprisoned in Edinburgh until his victim healed according to custom. In September 1562, Mary Queen of Scots sent an army equipped with artillery from Dunbar Castle to besiege Finlatter and eject John Gordon of Finlatter. When Mary was nearby on 28th of September, she had sent her trumpeter messenger to deliver the castle to the captain of her guard. But he was refused and in October 19, sorry, 1562, the Earl of Huntley sent Mary the keys of Finlatter and Ockendoon, but she was suspicious of the low status of the messenger. Thank you for watching Desmond's Donners and remember please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.